Hello and welcome to our third part of our Builder Nation series. I am Dupidi and I hope you're all having a lovely day. In today's video, we are going to make our nation playable in game. Also, we're going to make some tweaks here and there from last video that we made a list to do. We're going to complete them today. But the first thing we're going to do is put that nation flag in the game. It was harder than I thought it was going to be, but I managed to do it and this is how. First thing that I'm going to do, as you can see, I have a resource archiver up and I've done this already, by the way, done this already just to test that this is the way to do it because I've never done it. If normally if you want logos or flag packs or things like that, you normally go on FM Scout, right? And download the pack, create a folder, extract it, go into a game, clear cache, reload skin and bang, it's done. We still need to do those last two phases, but I want to show you how you can just change one flag for instance if you're doing what we're doing then this is great to do so what you want to do is extract archive what we will do is just go back a bit just so that you can see where it is so in my d drive we want to go to steam or wherever steam saved in your drive then we want to go to steam apps go to common find football manager 23 go into data and then we want to look for graphics and that's within game and if we keep on going down and there's graphics so what we're going to do is we're going to load that and you select a folder where you want it we created a folder before where we had comp editor files that we were playing around with but i created a new one so if you go back and just select the folder that you want to in your documents i called it fm23 extract click on that and then select and then it's gonna create a graphics folder we've done it already so we don't need to do that and then you go to that folder using windows explorer and if we go to graphics into pictures and you will see flags so that's the one we need today we go into it and it's got large medium small there's no mediums it looks like that they've created within small we go to other and as you can see they kind of got a really small and then a medium and then if we go to large and then there's there they are and obviously this is the one that we need to change but what you will need to do you probably could archive it back into the game but just sort of for sake of easiness and that if we want to change anything else we need to go to documents then sports interactive and go to your football manager documents and what you will need to do is if it's not already created you need to create graphics pictures and then don't create flags because what we're going to do as you can see i've already done it you just want to go back to that extract that you had go back to graphics pictures and then what you want to do is you want to copy that back to your football manager 23 documents into graphics pictures and then paste the flags in and then open up and then you will have all of those flags if we go to europe for instance there you go there's all the european flags so what i did is i opened all three of them in photoshop you can probably do this in any photo editing software but good thing about photoshop is that you can do a hell of a lot more so for instance i created a layer that would flex around the image that i already have so here's the image and i put in my flag in here and then i connected it to the lower flag so that it gets me those curves so it's exact same shape as everything else and then i did that on the very small and then for small you can see that it's quite blurred it's because it's very pixelated but if you go into game it will look not too bad to be fair so i saved all of them and what i did is i saved them into where i needed them just saved them over so i extracted them from photoshop and as you can see saved it into that one and then saved them both into here just want to quickly show you there's an extra small there's a small and then obviously where we was for large so if that's not showing anywhere for you what you want to do is you want to go to the menu and go to preferences and then you want to make sure you're on advanced go to interface and what you need to make sure is where it says skin this is unticked use caching to decrease page loading times and tick reload skin when confirming changes in preferences once that's done you can then go down to the bottom and go to reset and clear cache and then you want to reload skin and that is it so what's the biggest stadium in birmingham uk fill apart 42,000. okay that's fine we can change that and we need to change the capital city as well All right we've just loaded up editor and uh 
latest save. We will save, do a new one, just in case that we need to go back. It's always good. Am I on the right one? It's weird that that's just come up as part one. Yeah, part two. Always check in the corner what version you might be working on. Save edit data as part three. Save. There we go. Now we're working on this one. Just in case I don't like what I've done or something ruins it in the game, but I can always go back to a different version and make other changes. We'll probably be making more and more, probably version 3.2 once we get in, and things like that. One. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so forth once we get into the rules. If we now go to nations and we go to England and national stadium, we want to change that to fill up. There we go. OK. And is there a way that we can change for capital city or does that not matter? I don't think they really need a capital city, do they? You can Ireland, United Kingdom, pound, fill up. There's no capital here. No, can't see anything. Database. Read that you can't choose capital city. Add condition. Unless they just don't ever use that information in the game it's just nation and where their stadium is and that kind of gives you an indication about their capital city maybe and in nation london and what i want to do is just find london is there like a tick box where you can say capital city language name nation local local region weather english inland okay so you get inhabitant range per city because that's another thing that we're looking for is population how do you generate a population local regions don't need to worry about that continents currencies there's nothing in continents is there quick look no nothing we can do there people oh no that's f1 isn't it stadium stage names no can't think of anything so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our nation of london what i would like to do is for home kit this i want to change this round so what's red 161 so we need to put 161 zero zero and obviously white is white yeah it looks much better looks more like an english team right do we like for socks up socks maybe the shorts can be white again change it around ah oh, recent colors amazing there you go yeah that looks better and I, we're not trying to be england but we was part of england forever so kind of makes sense that we have that influence and just a nice blue kit amazing so a light color and a dark color very different all right with those changes let's just have a save so now we are going to open up nation rules and we're going to see if we do basic nation rules makes the leagues active to play or do we need to really really drive in data so add lower other nations because we're not in the main group of live nations basically go down here see if that can change at all by doing stuff here okay next settings we can always change that i don't know if that's remembered it from last time i'm not checking now so what i'm going to firstly do uh, well what you have to do is add a division within for nation rules basic because if you go to convert to advanced rules it will then go there must be at least one division in this nation and i think that's what's going to make it active and as you can see if we now that we've done not even going into advanced rules if you go up to the top right it has not verified so even if when we do this we have to verify it. right for anything i'm going to do for the minute is add for divisions that we already have so if i have a little bit of a wizard four steps so we've got a single division we don't have contained subdivisions so like um for vanorama where you have north and south competition outlet and it's already found it for us with teams so it's building it already for us which is amazing so now we've got to decide uh how many rounds do we want because it's only nine teams it's half the size of the premier league we're gonna have four rounds so they play each other four times substitute rules we're gonna have that is a good point don't know what F1 in our house has. Max of three stoppages. Five from nine. I think we want it big. Is that what people have got nowadays? I wanted it a bit bigger, actually. Let's go from that. Five from seven. Max of three stoppages plus one extra time. That sounds quite familiar. Uh, number of promotion places, uh, none. Number of relegation places, we're going to have two. And then match day, we're going to want to play on a Saturday. Finish. Amazing. So let's go and create some basic rules. Then we're going to add one more. Single division. So division two. Next. Number of rounds, four. So it's the same again. And good thing is if we ever change the top division, we can go use highest division rules. Makes life easier. And you have to change it in one place then. Number of promotion. Two, number of relegation, none, match day, Saturday, finish. So I wonder if we can save and then 
test rules. Current nation rules are valid. OK, so then if we look again on the top right, we can now have verified again. Save. OK, now let's go back into the game and see if we can actually play this league just how we've set it up here. Be interesting to see, right? All right, let's start a new game and see what it looks like in game so far and what rules it might have given us. So there's our part three, any one we require, confirm, advanced setup and get rid of all these, add, remove leagues and there is London. Brilliant. Get rid of Spain. We just want London in this test. There we go. Division one only, division two. Amazing. Playable. Don't need any of that. Yep, start game. Go. Okay, so we're not going to be a team, but I just wanted to show you that for changes that we've made is all here. Now, at the moment, you've still got Arsenal in the Europa League, Chelsea in the Champions League, and Tottenham in the Champions League, and West Ham in for Europe. So they haven't changed any of that, which is good. Arsenal's predicted to finish fourth, Chelsea fifth. Tottenham third. Okay, by one by one. Who's predicted to finish first then? No one. So it looks like the predictions are still the same for their associated league. It's interesting that that hasn't picked it up. And in Division 2, we've got AFC Wimbledon, Barnett, Bromley, Cholton, Dagenham, Redbridge, Dulwich, Hamlet, Leighton, Oren, and Sutton. I think in next video, we're going to add some more advanced rules and we're going to just simulate a season and just see what it looks like and see if we, from that simulation, see if we feel like we could add in more stuff. For instance, with the transfers, playoffs, relegation playoffs, maybe we could try things out. So I'm going to just go unemployed for a minute and I just want to see it in game. Carry on with London tests. Just keep on saving it over that. That's fine. And one of the things I want to do is just go over to London as a nation. Just check it out. Anything changed since? Oh, I mean, this is now selectable. Remember in the last video, we couldn't select it. Still world ranking is low. They've not got any international games that's fine we will see what happens in after the season has reset see what happens with that see what happens with european qualification obviously for nation has no coefficients so therefore they probably don't get any points but with actually like Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, West Ham, all in a European competition, they could help get those points and maybe get a place in Europe at some degree. Still need to add that population. We haven't gone into advanced rules yet and it might be in there. Maybe we will keep on looking because I can't find that in the database. But for population, you would have thought would have been based on all the cities and then it calculates that. But obviously it's coming up with zero. We'll do more digging. Let's get into advanced rules see if it's there and if it's not i will uh, go away and find out so let's go to division one and that's how our structure looks like champion and two relegated and then if we drop down to division two no one gets relegated and then we get a champion and a promotion very simple indeed london's big but not that big to obviously create multitudes i mean there is still more clubs we can add and that's going to be into we will probably have a london regional and then have a one relegation spot for them to get into that but these are remember these are all our professional clubs and then we'll have a semi-professional league and we'll generate a under 21 league and for under 21 league is going to be pretty much a combination of all these teams in the top two divisions so if we go back to division one and check out for instance arsenal and we go to their schedule and there we go there's their schedule they should play for instance west ham four times another thing we haven't set up any sequence but actually it looks quite random it's four times west ham chelsea tottenham yeah it's random so that's good Home, away, home, away. Keep your Chelsea, keep your Chelsea. Oh, maybe not. Keep your Chelsea, keep your Chelsea run there. Okay, so it's quite a consistent rhythm. Okay, we would want that to be a bit more randomized, I guess, of their fixtures. But I don't know how much you can get that randomized of going into the next phase, how much that's going to change. Because you might end up with teams playing close together. But you get that anyway. You get that in premiership. Wonder if any players are unhappy. Things are still in Europe, aren't they? Oh, what's happened to my view? That's better. Something went wrong there. I do find that with the views. They are, can be temperamental. No one's showing a sign of unhappy yet. 
I guess if a, a bigger team comes in in terms of league wise, they might want to. Look, they got some London players in mixed in with the England players. Love it. I do like that flag just because it sticks out a little bit more for England with it black and for crest. Maybe we could take away for crest and just have it black, the black cross. I don't know. I quite like it. It just stands out, doesn't it? It's one thing I want to do. Uh, rules. What rules got put in place? Ah, look, they've already got a qualification. So if you come top, you only get Europa Conference League first qualifying round based on our ranking and where we are. So we have got something there. So it's linked it somehow to for competitions being maybe continent Europe. It just does it. Low career efficiency. Maybe next season that might change. Again, only way we're going to tell is by playing it. Points. Yeah. Number of teams. Fixture details. 32 games. Teams play each other four times. 32 games. Premiership's 38. Does it have to be five times? And then that makes it a bit more better. Is that enough games? To be fair, for Premiership complains that they've got too many games, being 38. So actually, we could put in a winter break. And I'm presuming as well that if we go to fixtures, it should be in for European competitions, but they shouldn't be in for FA Cup. How do I find that out? Oh no, here we go. Competitions. So yeah, there, there's no cups for them yet, apart from Europe and Division 1. So that's another thing that we need to do is cups. But that is on my list. So they're not part of League Cup and Fair Fair Cup anymore. And that will be also the same for the lower team. So Cholton will be part of just the division. That's it. And if we, while we're on division two, just have a quick look. They're playing only 28 games. They're playing each other four times. Maybe we need to increase that because they haven't, they're not in Europe, are they? So we might as well increase that to maybe play each other six times. Or is that a bit of an overkill? Let me know in the comments what you think. So the top two promoted to Division 1. No trialists allowed to play in matches. Yeah, that's fine. Users substitute rules from highest of the two divisions. Let me check that in a sec. Eligibility rules. Players cannot play competitive matches for more than two clubs between 1st of July 2022 and 1st of July 2023. Three clubs if a player moves between clubs belonging to different associations with overlapping seasons. Okay, fair enough. We might be able to just remove that or it might be linked with again for continent of Europe. Technology, yeah, goal line, we've already put that in. Disciplinary rules, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Stadium requirements, Saracen is permitted in stadiums for this division. I can't believe that we can actually play it by just doing such simple changes. I think that's brilliant. Just in case people don't know how to use advanced rules, this is a great thing. So the other ones only got 22. I'm quite happy if that's 32, but I think for other league with it being 28, it's just a bit too less without European football. Five from seven, max of three stoppages. I think that's how it is now in English football. So for eligibility rules are the same there. Technology rules, they've got VAR and goal line technology. Disciplinary rules are the same. Right, should we go back to the editor and check on some advanced rules? Right, because I know that the game is working, we could literally go into a game and play. I'm going to save a new version. And I said that we'd get to the stage where we would start doing point one and things like that throughout the series. So we're going to call this one 3.1. Now let's look at for advanced rules for the divisions that we have set up. Yes. Right, now we are in for advanced rules. Let's have a look at the nation. And I think this is all we're going to have time for for this video. Let's just quickly check through for nation and not for divisions. And obviously we've shown you some in-game stuff, so I won't be doing that again. And then in the next video, we will go through for divisions advanced rules and add in maybe a playoff one promotion and do two team playoff but they just go to for national stadium Wembley and play a final to see who gets promoted keeping things simple test it see if you like it and then um, carry on but I will simulate a season in the end of the next video so let's have a look see what we've got so we've got no description here to be fair it's working Disables extra promotions and rele relegations. Thinks we just want for it to be flexible format rules, don't we? The reason why I'm saying that is because that is how for other leagues are set up, from what I remember. Let's just do that. If we do playoffs and things like that, I guess that would restrict us being able to do it. So we've got our division levels that was already created for us when we did for basics. 
thing is, I know that this is working, so there's no need for me to do anything on these. Unless we notice something. I mean, I didn't even check fixture times. What is the default of fixture times? Do we need to change that or not? Again, another one that I'm writing down. Again, we can check against England and see what they've got there. If it helps, always have a look. Don't know. Copy. But I don't want to copy yet because we know that we can play it and it should play okay. Quiet teams. Got all that information. Don't have to do anything there. Competitions. We've got for competitions there. Game version. Don't know what that is. Anyone know what that means? I would presume that that's just blank. Don't use if competition doesn't exist. Well, it does exist, doesn't it? Is that a way of making it work in other versions of the game? Like at the moment, we're in version... What version are we? Uh, it won't tell me. But aren't we like version 24 or something like that? It's for... Uh, maybe for last patch, isn't it? So are these for different patches? I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. Don't want to discuss something that I don't know, I guess. Reserve rules. We haven't put reserves in. Reserve teams to create. So if we chose just reserves, is that just going to create it for their team? But we've got no li reserve leagues or no under 20. We don't want reserves. We just want under 21s, under 18s. It would create, but it wouldn't create leagues. Again, something I need to look at. It's being written down as I speak so that we don't forget that we need to do that as well. For now, let's leave it at that. Fixture rules, that's going to be all about for divisions. I won't go into that right now. Discipline rules. I was quite happy with all this. I um, don't need to change it around. Again, we can tweak. We need to. Season periods. I mean, I presume that it goes from 16th of August to 21st of May for season. That's their window to fit all the fixtures in. So happy with that. Then we've got start division dates. The start of season for selected division. Again, nothing's there apart from a year offset. Thing is, you could probably put one if you wanted for division to start in a year later. But then again, it might start because of the year offset might that might mean that it does it every other year got to be careful that's for like the world cup and competitions that get played in an offset then we've got transfer windows we haven't even put transfer windows in we've got some transfer rules here which is probably a default one players already on loan can join permanently at any time i think transfer windows i'm going to keep it same as england transfer windows i'm going to literally copy and paste that over transfer window again another one to write down regular friendlies agreement change pre-season mid-season breaks that's where we could put in a mid-season break would that break our game if we put in a mid-season break where where would we add that because we got sh slightly shorter do we co copy like spain i would depends when champions league games are all european games and if we copied another nation who has a winter break like spain and then i think we should be safe so for now i'm gonna remove that so again mid-season break and i'm gonna just put down spain all this stuff we can do in the next video just wanted to have a look is there anywhere for population it's one of the things we said wasn't it didn't see it might have been grayed out. I wouldn't think why population would be here. Now, we've had a look prior, haven't we, on this? I'm going to have another look. Here's a euro coefficients. We'll have a play with that to see if it makes any difference. We're whacking for top and see if it changes. If it doesn't change, then we'll just leave it how it is. Also, agreements. European Union. Are we part of European Union? Search. What do we do? Would this make a difference on anything? I mean, we can be part of that, I guess. Decent. We're not part of European Union and European Free Trade. We've agreed with something like that. Anyway, that's not the point. So I need to have a look at that to find out where the population, why is it not generating? Maybe, just maybe, is if we go back to advanced rules and go to London. Now, normally here, with a lot of these nations, you would have a file associated to the nation. And then within that nation, there might be stuff that you just can't edit. And it might be a coding within for resource archiver to be able to enter in things like population. Really, is it a big deal? It could be in the case of we could find some hidden bits or hidden gems of data to change in our favor to make this even more. I want to go down the line of realistic because obviously London as a nation, maybe I've predicted something. Can someone come back to this and go, oh, duper predicted that London's going to take its own independence 50 years time. It actually happened. Who knows? 
You know what? I'm going to make for prediction. 2073. It's recorded. And for first one, we made it a prediction. Just in case it happened, you can look back at it and go, there we go. 50 years time, will I still be alive? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I might see it. I'll be old. Very old. Okay, so advanced rules. Let's just jump into a division and just have a look what we got here. I know that we didn't look at fixture rules, but I mean, actually, something that we did say is the sequence of the fixtures, right? So if we go fixture rules, I'm presuming zero will be for for premiership. I mean, we could call it, yeah, like division one. So we could give it a description just so that we can see it and call it div one and as you can see it now says it and then in this one we can call this one because as we add stuff it could just get a little bit confusing there we go then we know where we're going and if we go in here let's have a look da, 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 da. highest division level lowest division level use squad numbers could take squad numbers out if we wanted to that would mean that for starting 11 would be it gets based on 1 to 11 right old school but now we keep squad numbers trialers can play in fixtures I like how we've got a tick here domestic trialers can play in fixtures foreign trialers can play in fixtures but if i tick there we don't want them to play in fixtures we want them to play in friendlies so maybe that's why it's ticked there we'll look out for that one okay uh wage budget turnover solo cap solo cap on make it for leagues a bit competitive because it's quite a range of teams we haven't done prize money yet either and things like that i want it to be i want for leagues to be really competitive i want to give likes of lower teams a chance and not make for rich teams richer squad selection deadlines we haven't put any of them in yet squad registration periods squad selection rules okay so this is not really giving me for sequence of fixture rules can't see any here so i'm presuming that's going to be in for division so let's just have a quick look and finish video on this bit here stages ah okay so it's going to be within for stage number of teams nine nothing else is there sort teams no number of extra future teams for no. league settings fixture order here we go fixture order slightly random one two three one three two so we want to we got slightly random it was and it wasn't but I think because of the amount of teams that just couldn't quite get it i'm just gonna go pure random or oh, reverse no random i'm just gonna go random and see what difference that would do number of last match days played on the same day just one last match day fixture priority it's just domestic low doesn't matter right now we haven't got anything else prize money we're gonna do this all in the next video i just wanted to find that sequence and we found it and we will check that out next time we load up the game so i'm gonna save that oh and i need to verify every time you make slight changes you need to verify so we're gonna test the rules so even quickly if the game runs these competitions and backgrounds and make sure that they are good maybe we should check out for coefficients put in maximum coefficients to see where it did oh oh here we go let's pick something up here last time when we wasn't in for advanced rules and we did basic it was fine so now it's picked something up new stage three for uefa europa league couldn't can't find enough teams to be created 11 team found 32 needed that is very weird considering we have not even changed anything along that line so would that mean the game would crash in our version question mark there okay i think i know what i need to do right amazing stuff we can play our nation in game it's really good that the game allows you to do basics but as you can see we start going into advanced rules and we've already got a hiccup of the europa league we haven't even edited for europa league so i'm gonna go away have a look what's happened there and i will let you know in the next video what we're looking to do in the next video is to do more advanced rules hopefully this time with no errors and hopefully hopefully if i can find out i will let you know about the population nation population why are we getting zero when all the population data is there within the cities it just hasn't done a sum is it that missing file i will let you know if you've liked this video you know what you need to do hit that like button and if you want to carry on watching the series and anything else to do with football manager me playing the game me doing the editor's stuff and it'd be much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button we are on our way to 500 might even be 500 by the time this video is released obviously the aim of the game is to reach a thousand means every subscription is heading towards our goal thank you for watching have a great day